Hi, it's Suli and Lovely today. And I'm holding on to Lovely really tight because today, as you can see, it's a no makeup type of day because I was pretty much bed bound today. I had a nurse come attend to my surgery wound and it hurt a lot so I took medications and I was just really fatigued it took a lot from me and that leads me to today's topic for the early standard society social media awareness which is my wish for early standard syndrome and hypermobile spectrum disorder um research my wish for research on our conditions and me having hypermobile eds primarily i really do think that we have to continue with the research to making sure we find the gene or genes that are responsible for los danlos i know i have mutation um hypermobile los danlos i mean i know i have a mutation in the mylk gene and the fbn2 gene which are both connective tissue um and like i've shown you before i'm not wearing my splints today either because i just wanted to be comfortable so my fingers and my grip are a little off um i've just been in pain today and it is what it is but my research um, hope is that we can get to a point where we can understand the comorbidities that come with these conditions and comorbidities means the conditions that are related to it why do we get um, so many underlying symptoms how can we hopefully prevent it like gastroenterological what can we do what diets are better for us what um exercise regimens because people are like oh you're flexible you should just do yoga well guess what yoga is not good for everyone because we don't know where to stop like i explained the difference between hyperextending and flexibility um we don't have that stop so it could actually hurt us if we were not careful for me the best type of of exercise is aquatic but right now with a wound that's open because we have poor wound healing i can't do aquatic physical therapy so what are our options and that is my wish for the research of eds and hsd so that we can understand it better